and when molecules in the air cool down, they slow down. The problem is, some molecules don't slow down as quickly as others. Carbon dioxide, for example, is one of them. Because of pollution, there's so much of it floating around in our atmosphere, and since the sun is constantly shining on us, it keeps absorbing that energy, which causes the Earth to grow hotter and hotter every day. We know this because of the data from instruments much like the ones on the spark. These very molecules and others are the cause of more unpredictable severe weather storms, droughts, floods, and wildfires. In Arizona, a monsoon that comes around every summer to cool down the state has been delayed, and now Arizona is experiencing a record high heat wave. Even sea life is affected too. Coral needs to be rescued out of the ocean since the water is too hot and is being bleached. Land, air, and ocean life are being threatened as we speak. But there are people who are trying to directly help address these issues. There are many areas in the world where atmospheric research has not reached and places that have not been measured. With dangerous floods and severe storms on the rise, scientists are going out into the field to create better detection systems. 